Hey guys, how's it going? Flooding Mod 14 here, and this is another episode of Let's Play Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, welcome back to the LP. Uh, in the last episode, we um, we started to buy some new packs. Oh, yeah, and we got a pretty good card, really. Uh, Pot of Greed. Uh, if you want to know which which pack that's in, go to the last episode, check that out. Uh, and in this episode, let's see, I think we're just gonna continue to duel, see if we can find anyone else. So, uh, now the volume here is actually a little low, so let me go ahead and turn things up a bit for you guys. Let's see. Maybe a little loud. I, I think that's about where I usually have it, though. All right, sorry about that. All right, without further ado, let's get going. I don't think there's anything I need to add to my deck, but yeah, we'll see. Alright, let's get out here and duel. Actually, before we go, let's see if there's any new email. Because there might be. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Usually when there is, it'll say you have new mail. So, nah, still same stuff. Alright. Here we go. Alright, who will we find today? Hopefully we'll get to someone new here. Ah, of course there's no guarantees. So, let's see. Alright, who do we have? Ah, Yugi. Good, good. I like a good challenge. How's it going, Yugi? This is the deck the Pharaoh and I built together. I believe that my cards will guide me to victory. It's time to duel! Alright. Wouldn't be a duel without your catchphrase, eh, Yugi boy? All right, let's do this. All right. All right, guys, wish me luck. This could be a tough duel. All right, pretty good hand, I must say. Um, got most of our strong monsters, plus trap holes, so that's good. Yeah, got Baron with the sword, Beaver Warrior. Eh, pretty good hand. I, I think I'll just uh, I'll set Beaver Warrior to start and my trap hole. All right, your move, Yugi. Let's see what you got. Celtic Guardian. Oh, okay. And there's another one with the like a movie AMV sequence, so that's cool. Uh, I will not play Trap Hole on Celtic Guardian, because he's no match. Need one of your own monsters, Yugi. It's my Beaver Warrior. Haha. -ha. Take that, Yugi. <laughs> oh wow, no face stones, really, Yugi. I'm actually kind of surprised, man. Usually he defends himself with eh, one or two good trap cards, so... Alright, well, if you're not gonna block with anything, I'll just summon my Baron of the Fiend sword and enhance his sword. Dark Destruction. Awesome. Celtic Guardian will go down, Yugi. Baron attack. Alright, down you go, Yugi. And my Beaver Warrior will attack you directly next. Haha. -ha. Right, 
it. I end my turn. Alright, now what was I kind of talking about in the last episode? Uh, I felt like it was sort of a good topic. Wing Dragon. Uh, I could play Trap Hole, but I won't. It's just 200 points, so not that big of a deal. Uh, oh yeah, I think I was kind of talking about, you know, the storyline of this game, or the concept of it. Um, and like I was saying, it's a pretty interesting one. Um, well, I take it that most of you have seen uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Battle City, the second storyline. Um, yeah, basically... You know, if you haven't, I definitely recommend go checking it out. Uh, you know, if you're if you're watching this, you're obviously a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that episode, the only thing I can think is, uh, you know, maybe you're like a younger viewer who's you know never checked out the original series. But I definitely would. Oh, Karibo! I activate my Karibo. Actually, Yu-Gi, you, you kind of should have saved that because. If you would have saved it from my direct attack here, then you would have only taken 200 that turn. So, bad move, bro. Bad move. Alright, yeah, and if any of you uh, use Karibio O in your deck, I would only recommend it for, you know, its effect for the direct attacks. I mean, obviously, that way you get the most out of it. So. Oh, okay, now you set a face down, Yugi. Alright. That's a little more like it. Uh, let's see. I think I'll set two alligator. Uh, just in case. Alright, but first I'll attack with Great White. See if you got a trap card. Ooh, Giant Soldier of Stone. Well, I'm not gonna get past that easily. Not bad, Yugi. Not bad. Alright. So, uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the storyline of the game. Uh, yeah, Battle City. Um, basically, it's the it's the tournament with, you know, the god cards and, uh, you know, rare hunters, Merrick. Uh, Yugi kind of finds out, you know, a lot more about his... What? Really? Wow, I can't believe he switched <laughs> Giant Soldier of Stone to attack mode there. Uh, goop? Goof? Whoops. Yeah, that's that's a big mistake, Yugi. Sorry. Wow. But yeah, the god cards, uh a lot happens really. Um and of course yeah, Merrick starts taking control of lots of people's minds, inc including uh Yugi's friends at one point, so um but yeah, this game is basically you know uh, has that hypothetical, you know, element to it uh, of, you know, what would have happened if, you know, I was in Battle City and got to, which is, which is pretty cool, I think, and, uh, you know, got to take place in the tournament, um, duel against Yugi, duel against, you know, all the others in the tournament, Esperoba, uh, Rex Raptor, you know, uh, Weevil, Mako, you know, so it's pretty. It's a pretty good um, idea for a game, honestly. And um, I think they did a really good job on this one. And like you guys will see, like I'm, I'm not really gonna try to spoil anything, but uh, yeah, later on, you know, some of the some of the events that did happen in Battle City, um, some of them will happen to us too. So that's pretty cool. So definitely looking forward to that. So. Alright, Yugi. That's down to 1550. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Alright. Well, you better hope that face sounds like, I don't know, like Mirror Force or something awesome because... Yeah, you only have 1,500 life points left, Yugi. So, yep. Gonna have a pretty good card there. Oh, good job, Yugi. You did have a pretty good card there. Mystical Elf. 
Yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about with Yugi. Like now he's now he's uh, playing a little bit of his strategy, just like we saw with uh, you know like Taya in the last episode. Yeah, this is more of what I was talking about. You know, he uses his uh, high defense monsters, so. But not a problem. I have shared the pain, so next turn I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably pay this with uh, Toon Alligator, since that's his only monster left. That's a good way to get rid of it. So, all right, let's do it. Share the pain. All right, I'll tribute my Toon Alligator to Yugi. And what will you tribute? Oh, of course, your only monster. Alright. And now, my great white, sink your teeth into Yugi and finish him off. Awesome. Alright, and that's game, Yugi. Alright, 74 duelist bonus. Yeah, that's pretty good for the uh, early parts of the game. Yeah, early in the game, uh, as far as getting the KC points, I think Yugi and Joey uh, probably give the best amount for that. Well, of course, I mean, it kind of makes sense. They're main characters, so... Alright, let's see... Whoa, whoa, whoa. my game kind of slowed down like a lot right there. Not quite sure why. But let's see. I think we have enough uh, to get some more packs now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the shop here. Because uh, there is another card that I'm looking for. So let's see if we can find it here. Whoa. Wow, yeah, I'm going to have to cut, cut this episode early. I'm not sure what is causing that. But it is, like, really lagging right now. Huh. Okay. Well, if this keeps lagging like this, then, um... Basically, I'm going to end the episode after we buy some packs here. Uh, we'll see if it kicks out, though. Hopefully it will. Man, that was weird. <laughs> that was, like, heck of lag. Uh, let's see... Oh, okay, and uh, it looks like we've unlocked a new uh, pack here. Broken Seal. Uh, this one's pretty good. You, as you see on the cover, uh, you'll find uh, some Exodia pieces in here. Uh, will I build an Exodia deck? Um, hmm, I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises, guys, but it would be kind of cool to show off, you know, if I summoned it at least once. So it's almost like you got to do it. Okay. But this should be the pack, yeah. Shadows in the Labyrinth. Uh, there are, like, two or three pretty good cards I'm looking for in here, so wish me luck. Uh, and if we don't get it, that's fine. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll probably buy, you know, all ten just to, you know, make the most of our, our bank here. Burning Spear. Hmm. So, no rare in that one. But, uh, Ukazi is kind of a good card. Yeah, if you're gonna... You know, include a burn card. That one's pretty good. 800 damage. Pretty good. A lot better than uh, Sparks or whatever we had early there. Did we have Hinotama? Or? Yeah, I think we did have Hinotama. But yeah, I would definitely upgrade to Ukazi there. If you like cards like that. Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Ah, nice. And we did get one of the cards I was looking for here. Uh, Suijin. Uh, the, uh, the Watcher God. So... That's pretty good. That, that'll that go well with our Kazajin that's in our deck. Uh, let's see if I can get another card I was looking for. Hmm. Let's see. Clown Zombie. Oh, Battle Ox. That's not bad attack stat on that, honestly. Negate attack. Okay. Uh, that's, that's better than some of the traps we have now, so... Probably include that in the deck. Um... Still a couple cards I want, so let's see if we can get them. Um, or if we get like an ultra rare, I'll probably stop buying this pack. So, Ryukishin power, that's a pretty good attack as well. Dispel, okay. Alright. Didn't get a rare out of that pack, but um, honestly, Dispel is good. Um, 
I may replace that with Arm Ninja and of course Ryu Cushion Power. Another Fiend. Man, I I really uh I might have to maybe look online at, at a pack list and see if I can get a Yami field spill. Cause uh I seem to be getting a lot of early, you know, good fiends, so dark energy, yeah. There we go! That's the card I was looking for. Alright. It's a super rare Swords of Revealing Light. Um, kind of self-explanatory, but I guess I'll explain it anyway. Uh, as long as this card's face up, the opponent can't attack for three turns, so that's really good. Huh, a fiend type increases its... Okay. It may include dark energy, too. Alright. Well, we definitely got some good cards out of that pack, so... Definitely worthy of a save. So I'm gonna go back out here and then go home. So, all right. Let's see, there we go. Go to the home button. All right. Yeah, and I'll save to that. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, with that, let's uh, let's add a few of these new cards to our deck, shall we? Uh, I'll probably take out Slot Machine for uh, Sewage, and that's for sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, go to Trunk. And let's see. Throw in Battle Locks. Uh, what was the other good card I got? I think Ryukushin. Uh, powered. Dispel, yeah. Uh, Dark Energy. You know, I may as well throw this in here. I think our other equips are better, but seems like we have a lot of fiends, so I might as well throw that in, really. I don't see why not. Let's see. What was else? Okay, yeah, I got negate attack. I wouldn't mind having two negate attacks in there. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Suijin. Good, good, good. And Ryukushin power. And, of course, the card I was looking for, Swords Revealing Light. Alright, so we added seven new cards. Seven pretty good cards, if I say so myself. Uh, so let's see. First off, I think I'll probably. Uh, what do we have in the way of traps? Uh, well, really, all of our traps are kind of good. Okay. Share the pain. It's kind of basic. Uh, yeah, red medicine. It's kind of. Uh, it's kind of one of those early cards, too, that, you know, eh, doesn't really matter if you go ahead and get rid of it, so. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay, yeah. Um, block attack. Yeah, it it can be good, and uh, I think it saved me in one duel, but it's sort of, you know, sort of situational, so. Eh, I think I'll put it to the side deck, though. Uh, unhappy Maiden. Yeah, we'll basically replace Negate Attack with this, uh, but Negate Attack's kind of easier to play, so... Uh, I don't think I'll be wanting this card anymore, so... Put that in the trunk. Suijin. So with that, I'll probably take out... Slot Machine? Yeah, I'll probably take out Slot Machine for Suijin. I'll put it on the side just in case I want it back, but... Uh, let's see, and now we get rid of three monsters. Well, let's see. Uh, is it time to get rid of Beaver Warrior? Um, I think so. As cool as it is to say, you know, while I'm summoning it, I think it's time. Hmm. Or do I get rid of Arm Ninja here? You know what? Maybe I'll leave Arm Ninja in. That way I'll have, you know, two ways to remove spells. Uh, yeah, because some spell cards can be pretty annoying. So, Toon Alligator. You know what? I'll get rid of Toon Alligator and Beaver Warrior, I think. Oh, yeah, and Horn Imp. Uh, yeah, not as good as uh, Battle Locks or some of the other ones we added, so get rid of that. Yeah, that sounds good. And then Beaver Warrior for the last card. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be good. How many monsters do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18. Okay. I think that's I think that's good. I think that's good. So yeah, we will save that. Alright. And there we go. Alright. Alright, and we'll go back out and try our new deck. Awesome. So we got Swords of Revealing Light. That's good. That's really good. You can almost guarantee that card will help us at some point in this LP. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see who we can find out here. Oh, Bakura. Okay. Alright, Bakura. I prefer board games, but I wanted to try my hand at dueling after watching Yugi. It's duel. Alright, Bakura, let's go. Oh boy, let's see if he gets his uh, ectoplasma strategy going again. Man, yeah, I, that was, uh, I mean, aside from lo losing to Joey, I think Bakura, um, I think he's got us to the lowest amount of life points so far. I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> oh, Bakura. He can cause some havoc, I tell you. But it's fun doing him, though. Good challenge. Dragon Zombie in attack mode. Alright. Oh, and that's it? Good. Didn't get Actoplasma? Yeah, that's that's kind of a huge break for us, honestly. Alright, we got Negate Attack and Magic Drain, so... Set those face down. And I'll probably go with... I'll go with Neo. Alright. Oh, and we got our Spirit Monster, too. Whoop, Tok. <laughs> Who I seem to draw pretty frequently. Well, I did in, in like the last... I don't know if it was two episodes ago or last episode. But yeah, I seem to get that card quite a bit. Which, hey, I, I'm not complaining. That's good. It's a good card. Alright. Good early start versus Bakura. Alright. And we have Magic Drain. Which, I mean... It's not guaranteed to negate Ectoplasma. But if he decides to play it, we have it. So that's good. We have a chance to stop Ectoplasma. Which, that's better than nothing, honestly. Alright, Bakura. Hmm, Reverse Trap. Interesting. Well, uh, maybe, that may be a card I want to actually, you know, trade out. Uh, maybe I want to add, like, Beaver Warrior back to my deck. I don't really seem to use Reverse Trap often. Uh, but it is a good card, though. Headless Knight, wow, perfect defense, bro. Not bad. We have Reverse Trap. Uh, I guess really that's more useful if like the the opponent, uh, you know, starts boosting their monster to to ungodly power. <laughs> like really, if they use a powerful quiz spell like United We Stand or Mage Power, it's really good. Ooh, Enchanting Fitting Room. Uh, do I want to negate that? Mm, nah, because we still got negate attack, so if he gets, you know, stuff that's way too good, then we'll just negate the attack. Final zombie? Okay. You gotta figure he'll get at least, like, one monster when he plays that, so. And Pot of Greed. Oh, good. So, I think Pot of Greed gets shuffled back into his deck. Yeah, so that's good. Alright. Oh, and he's gonna tribute. Alright. Patrician of Darkness, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we faced this card last time we played against Bakura too. So we're definitely gonna want to negate that attack. Now, uh I don't know if I explained it in the other episode we had with Bakura, but Patrician of Darkness is a dangerous card. Uh basically Oh nice, nice, good. Uh basically uh, as long as it remains on the field, um, Bakura gets to select the target of our attacks, which, which is bad, you know, basically. So, I'm gonna equip Stimpak to Neo, and, uh, yeah, basically what that means is, like, for example, I want to target his Patrician of Darkness here, but since he has its effect, he'll probably make me target Headless Knight. I don't know, it, it's really up to him. Um, 
Yeah, so he'll have me target Headless Knight, which eh, kind of sucks, but that's okay. Uh, our Neo will be stronger than his Patrician for uh, at least one more turn, so that's good. I guess I could have uh, equipped Stimpak to Patrician and then used Eternal Rest. Uh, yeah, that may have been smarter, but uh, it's okay. We'll we'll go with this for now. I think Neo can do it. I think he can beat this Patrician Darkness. So, ah, uh, maybe not. Violet Crystal. Uh, that would actually take him past my Neo. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to play Magic Drain here. Let's see, let's see if we can get him. Magic Drain. Oh well, okay. Well, Neo's going down. Man. Well, no, 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 no. This is okay, because we still have Eternal Rest, so... What? He didn't... He didn't attack Neo. He attacked... My Whiptail Crow? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, Neo didn't receive the power down from Stimpak yet. Okay, that's why he didn't attack Neo. Um, but I thought he would there, honestly. Okay, yeah, and this turn, get the power down. Oh, wow. Hmm. Well, this is kind of a problem because... Hmm. Yeah, because I want to play Eternal Rest, but at the same time, it'll kill Neo too, and my only monster left would be Arm Ninjas. So, tell you what, let's play Swords of Revealing Light. And Pyramid Turtle. Alright. Well, I won't attack, but I'll set Crimson Ninja. Okay. Hmm. This is getting kind of interesting. Let's see. Let's see what can be done here. Really, as long as he has Patrician of Darkness powered up like that, I... Oh. Ectoplasma. Okay. And so it begins, Bakura, so it begins. Alright. Well, this may actually be a blessing in disguise, believe it or not, because I'm not sure what I would have done about his Patrician of Darkness here. Uh, kind of low on monsters, though, is the problem. But the good thing is that uh, the way we have the field now, he can't attack. So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. So our points keep going down with Neo. Well, I tell you what we're gonna do here. Um Well, I still have swords up, so I think I'll set giant red sea snake. And then I know it's powered up, but uh I think I'll sacrifice Neo with Ectoplasma. That way I can play uh I can play Eternal Rest next turn, and I don't have to worry about destroying my own monster, so that's that's probably the smartest thing I could do there. And maybe he'll even tribute his own Patrician. Okay, no, no, no. He's going to probably tribute Armored Zombie then. Oh, okay, and you reveal Sangan. Okay. Alright. Well, you can't attack, so... <laughs> Good monsters, Bakura, but... Uh... I mean, I guess you'll sacrifice Sangin? That's what I would do. Yeah. Alright. Alright, he's gonna get... Oh, man. That's a good monster. Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Ooh. Well, thanks. Come on, Pot of Greed. You helped me in the last duel. Let's see if you can help me turn this duel around. Uh, not the best, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. All right, Bakura, I'm going to equip your monster with Sword of Hatred. You may say, why are you equipping my monster with a powerful card? Well, Bakura, that's because I have another card. Eternal Rest. 
Awesome. Well, I'm glad we played Pot of Greed there, because, uh, yeah, that helped us destroy two of his monsters. So basically, we sort of got a, uh, a Raigeki kind of effect there. Awesome. Well, good, good, good. Definitely glad I attributed Neo now, so. Alright, I'll summon Giant Red Sea Snake. And... I, I guess I'll go ahead and play Mooka Mooka. You know, with my hand the way it is, you know, to where it's empty. Uh, don't see much use of it in this duel, so. Sad as that is, we will be able to use it to play Ectoplasma. Keep our Giant Red Sea Snake alive, so. Alright. And my Sea Snake will attack directly. Alright, hang on guys, I'm gonna get a drink real quick. There we go. Alright, Bakura, and you're down to 38.50. Doing good. Yeah, I would say, uh... Well, of course, you guys saw his field there. He had, uh, at one point, Patrician of Darkness, Armored Zombie, and Sangan. So, I would definitely say uh, <laughs> what I was talking about earlier kind of happened. Uh, you know, having Swords of Revealing Light is really good against Bakura here. Uh, I mean, because that way he's not destroying your monsters and uh, running them out for you while he has Ectoplasma out. So, that's, that's really good. So... So we should draw, yeah, Sword of Hatred. Um, now he did draw that Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, so I'm going to equip this to Giant Red Sea Snake just in case that's what he said. Yeah. And then I'll also flip Crimson Ninja because Ectoplasma, I'll just sacrifice it at the end of the turn anyway, so. Uh, what? Oh! Wow, that's the only face down on the field. Well, that's my mistake. Man, I forgot Crimson Ninja did that. Okay. Well, I could have saved our reverse trap. Basically, if I would have uh, set sort of hatred first. Ah, oh, man. It's my fault. Oh, Skull Servant. Wow. Well, I kind of had to attack like that. Because uh, we, saw, we saw him at uh, Gross Ghost. So, really didn't have a choice there. But to add that, so, yep. Alright. Crimson Ninja, direct attack. Stealth Strike. Alright. And at the end of my turn, you'll take 150 more damage, Bakura, thanks to your own card. Alright. Yeah, now in this duel, it seems like we'll probably... Um, I mean, you know, this duel is far from over, but it seems like his points are kind of low at 31, so we may, you know, finish him off with his own card, his own Ectoplasma. It's, it's kind of what it seems like we're heading toward here. Ooh, Crawling Dragon. Good, good. Glad I drew another monster there. Some heart of the cards right there. Yeah. Because if we didn't, we would have had to draw... Would have had to sacrifice Giant Red, and then Sword would have returned to the top. So, yeah, that was a good draw. That was a great draw. All right, Gross Ghost, be destroyed. And uh, you know what? Something weird about Crawling Dragon. It's actually a dinosaur type. It's so weird that, uh, yeah, Crawling Dragon number two. It's kind of, kind of weird that they went with that name on this card, honestly. Because, <laughs> you know, most cards with dragon in their name... Well, I guess not all cards with dragon in their name. But most early cards with dragon in their name are, you know, dragon types. So, yeah. Yeah, if you're playing that card and you're kind of wondering, like, Oh, why isn't my card, you know, getting powered up by a mountain or... <laughs> Why, why isn't my dragon treasure or Lord of D, you know, protecting it? Well, it's actually not a dragon. It's so weird. Oh, man. Oh, and that's it, huh, Bakura? All right. Well, um, I think we might get a new bonus if we finish him with effect damage. 
So I could attack with Giant Red Sea Snake, but I'm actually just going to end my turn here because I think, like I said, I think we'll get a new bonus if I just sacrifice for Ectoplasmer. So yeah, Ectoplasmer finishes him off. Not bad, Bakura, not bad. Wow, that eternal rest really helped us turn things around there. Alright. We win, Bakura. And just 50 till we get to level 4, so that's good. Oh, wow, we didn't get the effect damage. Okay, so that's not a finish bonus. Alright, well, that's cool. Yuki's most impressive dueling powerful foes like you. Well, thanks, Bakura. Alright, and what time are we at here, guys? Oh, wow, 35 minutes? Almost 36? Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, thanks to you guys for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.